Hello and welcome to the Bexhill Observer Briefing for Friday, August 29th. I'm Philip Elms and I'm back after a brief summer break. Older, for sure. Wiser, no chance. But I'm here anyway to tell you of the delights of the very latest edition of the Bexhill Observer. It's out today and as usual, it's jam-packed with news and sport, leisure, readers' letters, a good clematis offer, and an awful lot more besides. You'll want to get your hands on a copy. Car crime. Car crime, major entertainment, and a charitable donation. These are three of the key areas we're covering in this week's Bexel Observer. More about that in a moment. First of all, the car crime. Now, we've had a town-wide spate of this in Bexhill. Cars have been broken into, vandalized right across the town. And these incidents have tended to coincide with police activity focused a few miles away in Hastings over the death of a young student. We have the full story on that crime, of course. The major leisure. Now, we've not had much of a summer here in Bexhill, have we? In fact, it's been pretty dull, but that didn't prevent Scores of people, hundreds of people, thousands of people turning out over the bank holiday weekend to be well entertained. At the Delaware Pavilion, over 6,000 people turned out for a whole range of activities there, including music, circus skills, family fun, a real bumper weekend. At the nearby Polgrove Recreation Ground, classic cars were on display. Hundreds of people turned out either to display their vehicles or to watch the spectacle. Again, we have the full story with pictures. A little further up the road, in the grounds of Battle Abbey, two nights of music, open air concerts, the pop show, headed by Girls Aloud, the Classics Night, headed by the English National Orchestra. Those events attracted thousands of people. We have the full story and pictures, as you would expect. And now, now that charitable donation. For over 60 years, the Association of Bexhill Citizens has provided sterling service as a civic pressure group. But it ran out of steam and now it's had to fold up. But the ABC, as they're affectionately remembered, have shown their commitment to the people of Bexhill by donating their final assets of nearly £50,000 to local good causes. Again, we have the full story. So, lots of reasons why you'll want to get your hands on a copy of the Bexhill Observer. If you're out and about in Bexhill this week, I hope you find some sunshine at last. And don't forget to pick up a copy of your favourite local paper. You'll know you'll want to do that. That's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.